Welcome back to Saga of Three Kings, session number 15, titled Lord of Ravens. Last session, the group, after dilly-dallying outside far afield of a fortress or a tower, um, they decided to uh, attempt to enter into the place, uh, being met by a coalition force within that appears to be comprised primarily of uh, Crimson Scarves, uh, but apparently they are backed up by a large massive uh, wave of zombies, which has just progressed out of the main bulk of the fortress and is now entered into the fray. Uh, that said, um, the initiative turn ended last time and we're cycling into the new initiative. Raya, after uh, slowly and quietly uh, ascending up the front of the castle, uh, and jumping down over the roofs and butchering two of the scouts is now engaged with a third scout. It is your initiative. As I stated in our side chat, she is aware of your presence. She does look like she is quite terrified of uh, the fact that um, her compatriots have been butchered without her noticing. I'm not on the combat map. Is anybody else? Yeah, I'm not on the combat map either. Oh, sorry. I'm not on the combat map. Also not on the combat nope. map. I just wanted nope, to be nope. involved. <laughs> Should be now. I'm on the combat map now. Yeah, baby. I am on the yeah. combat map. I think this is the wrong combat also map. There's too many the zombies. I don't remember this. Yes, the same combat what Steve said. Map. <laughs> I just like saying combat map. Combat, combat map. map. Combat map. Mombat, mombat <laughs> cap. RC Glow. What are those words? RC Glow. Uh... <laughs> That's for marketing. That's marketing's out. problem. That's for marketing to figure. Okay, anyway, it's Riot. Um, your initiative. You see where you're at on the map, um, and also your uh, position on the left side, so you can see over the uh, that that gray kind of divide. Um, it's about four feet high, um, so you can kind of see over it. Um, but uh, attacking down, uh, they appear to be up on, or when you were butchering them, they appear to be up on like small little stone kind of platforms that are set for uh, that purpose so it's like a half wall but it's solid it's a little more than a half i mean it's a half wall but it's a little bit taller than like a, a regular exterior wall with like crenellations it doesn't have crenellations or anything um yeah mm, see if i can push her over the edge okay uh, that's strength right yeah it'll be a strength athletics check to attempt to shove her yeah, it's going to fail either way. Let's do it. It's pretty good. Oh, wow, that was pretty good. Yeah, 15 is not good enough. Uh, she is going to fall off of the uh, area there. Gondar, uh, you teleport into that back corner and you're kind of holding yourself there. And as the fight's kind of raging around you, you hear a loud splat and thud sound uh, as a woman um, in armor uh, with a crimson scarf around her neck lands on the ground uh, directly next to you. Um, she is, um, do me a favor and roll me 2d6, Jeremy. Yep. No, I'm going to bonus action hide at the end of that. Sorry, 2d10, 2d10. 16. She is dead. Oops. One less to worry about. What a stroke of luck. If you look up, you can't see anybody up there. Like I said, they had to stand up to fire down, so you don't know why she fell, but she fell. I bonus action hide regardless. Okay. And so go ahead and make me a stealth check for that, and uh, are we good? Oh, it does look like we lost Andy. 21 on stealth. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Done. Is he gone gone? I don't know. He's not replying to us in chat. Did he get cut on his Iron Throne? When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Yeah. Apparently, uh, And then there were four. <laughs> Let's see. Well, that's not great. All right. Fix it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> So that was Raya, right? His Wi-Fi went out. Give him a minute. He'll be back. Okay, okay. Um, that said, I, I was able to switch the uh, the look of it. 
Um, so we're four man in. Um, He's got time before his turn comes up. Um, the veterans uh, will. Um, I believe I'm attacking shambles. Good. All right. Um, it's going to be a total of. Teen, what you're looking for? Uh, you said 18? 17. Okay. You manage to, um, the first attacker comes in, blade, blade, and you manage to kind of block against him. But as he goes high, his uh, compatriot goes low. Um, and he'll be doing um, one attack for eight and one attack for eight. So a total of ten. And that is the... Oh, I've got another veteran over here. Hey, right. he will hold his attacks, but he'll attack Andy once Andy is back online. Hello. Hello. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There you go, bud. Ugh, cripes. Well. Um, okay. I'll Language, go. please. Yeah, geez, please. <laughs> Jesus. Jiminy um, Crickets. Show. Come on. When you get back on, just keep this in your mind, Andy, as you load into stuff. Uh, one of the veterans... I'm, I'm all set. I'm, I'm good. Okay, I just don't see you in the roll 20. That's weird. Um, no, you don't. Yeah, one of the um, uh, veterans hits you for eight slashing damage when you get back on. Okay, I'm reloading. Gosh darn it. There he shows up. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Bellerin is standing adjacent to, um, looks like, uh, Kevin, um, who is really wounded, right? Seems so. All right, Andy, uh, you are in control of, uh, Bellerin as your cohort for this, uh, nice. conflict. So if you want to utilize him for, uh, spell casting, healing, etc., um, I believe Yeah, I just has... need, is, is he up? Uh, it is his initiative, yeah. Okay. Who's really hurt? Um, Leon, who's standing right next to him. Okay, so then um, we will do uh, Cure Wound. Okay. Are you going to upcast it or just first level? How many second level spells is that? He's got third level spells. Oh, wow. Okay, um, yeah, so, so is, is Kevin's character really hurt? Yeah. Okay, so we'll cast it at level three. Okay. Did anything happen? No. There we go. Is that right? Um, ye yes, it is. That's 12. Just low rolled, but it's still good. Yeah. He also doesn't have a huge uh, spellcasting modifier. All right. Most of his spells are uh, dice-driven. All right. And that's his action. Does he want to um, move at all, or is he good where he's at? Um, so he is right beside Leon? He's pretty stuck in there, yeah. Can he, he can't squeeze? between the bear? I'd say the bear is can, can, um, it's an ally, so um, yeah, if he wants to move to that position, that's fine. And, and, and there's a, an, an enemy in front of him? Is that, is that his enemy right here? Yeah, so if he were to move a, there, that he would basically be intercepted. That would be bad, yeah. Okay, Okay. I guess he's going to stay put then. Well, no, it, he'd be able to block for Leon, is what I was saying, if you want to use oh, him oh, oh. to defend. Okay, I can do that. All right. Then that pink spot would be good. And Gondor, you are up. All right, I'm gonna move on top of this body. Okay. Um, sh who's sh shambles? Who are you beating? Beating up this guy or this guy? Who who we who we who we beating up? Who we're we swapping beating them both on? Up. We're scrapping. But, yeah, but uh, wait, who's who I, are you scrapping? I feel for? like the more damaged of the two is our is the right. 
another guy the right behind it. Yeah, closest to the bear. Most right, proximity to bear. Alright, that's beauty. Bear um, slice, 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 kill, kill, kill. Um, so that first attack is 7 plus 3, 10. Mm -hmm. Second attack is another 10, so 20. Uh, you're still standing? Uh, you're adjacent to an ally as well, so it should actually be 26 for the sneak attack, right? Or 20. Oh, I see. I see. The crit threw me it's out. It's not a crit. Got it. It's not a crit, so 7 plus 3. Um, 20 total. Added. You're right. He's still Any standing. More? He's still standing. Oh, he's all right, uh, Shank with the Misty Death. Okay. 21 to hit, four, five more piercing. He is down. Beauty. Good answer. All right, so that's me, and then I'll do my cohorts. Namwok will climb up. Um, he's gonna share the space and then move one forward. That should work. And then he's gonna start swinging on Buddy over here. Okay. Um, can I make a suggestion? Sure. If you step him forward or, down a diagonally one more, he could attack the scout and actually have potential of hitting them. You know that the veterans have high AC from last session. That's true, but my boy, he, then he also becomes ripe zombie beat. If he goes here, he should be fine. Go over here? That's what you're saying? Yeah, basically circle around the veteran. Up one. Or, yeah, that's that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. If I'm hitting the scout, then... I'm, I'm done. Right. The thing I said was... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we will squad on this skip. All right. Let's go battle at a six and a okay, a seventeen hit. A uh, seventeen will hit this guy. Yeah. For eight slashing. She's down. She was already wounded. Beauty. And then Kane is gonna loose two arrows at this scout, or he's gonna loose his first arrow and see what. Happens. Okay. Uh, she'll have cover because the bear's in the way. But yeah. That's fine. So it gives her what one plus, one to AC plus two, yeah. Uh, twelve. I'm assuming miss it. Uh, miss, yeah. And oh, another twelve. So miss, miss. All right, giant elk is up. Or no, sorry, Grok is up. Yep. Um, Grok will attack the uh, the one that's in front of Leon. Uh, in Grok the bear. Grok, bear Grok. Okay. And you're attacking the one that's in front of Leon? In front of Beller Bellerin. Bellerin, okay. And Le yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, 16, 16 to hit. We'll miss, actually. Okay. And then we'll do claws. Mm -hmm. 19. That'll hit. 11 slashing. Okay. And can you tell me where exactly the um, the caster was? Can you ping? Last time you saw him, he was somewhere in the uh, tower portion of the uh, fortress to the south. Over. The zombies are kind of in the way now, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'm going to uh, move to, to here. And uh, Ben's... and bonus um, bonus action rage. Okay. Um, and Benson would have moved along with that. And pro tip for future reference: uh, rage before you attack. Okay, All that's right. what I meant to do first. So can we just say I did that first? Nah, I'm a horrible <laughs> DM. You learn by your mistakes. Giant elk. Um, giant elk will. Uh, giant elk ran off. I forget in its attack. Yeah, I was gonna well, say it's it's essentially. He's right outside. He's right outside. outside. You can keep him staying there. a safe distance. Yeah, it's staying within whistle distance. If gone, if Leon whistles for it, it can hear him and it'll come back. Okay. But for now, it's essentially keeping itself safe, as Leon wanted it to. All right. We'll go to Leon. Um, sorry, is this just a wall or is this like a rampart? Yeah, up uh, about fifteen feet, it's a rampart, but um, it's a pretty treacherous looking climb. Okay, like it's not like jagged in a good way, where it'd be like good footholds or anything. It's kind of like this. So it would be like a upwards climb. Like you're not going at a 90 degree or less than 90 degree. You're kind of going up at a sharp angle. I'm going to turn that background off. It's not working for me. <laughs> All right. So then if that's the case, I'm just, Leon's going to loose an arrow at this. 
Oh, he's level five. Nice. So he gets two shots. All right. So longbow on the front. Uh, 27. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 piercing. Is she up? Uh, this was the scout you said? Yeah, that's girl. Um, she is still standing with 12 piercing. Did you bonus action Slayer's marker first? Uh, no. Um, that's the thing. Yeah, he didn't use his uh, Zephyr strike. Can we just say that's the Zephyr shot? Well, Slayer's mark, he can move as a bonus action. It's per it, 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 It's not a... There's no resource being wasted here. Okay, yeah, sorry, I didn't know what archetype he was. Yeah, he's a monster hunter. Okay, so 18 will kill her. Okay, so that's the first shot, um, but it's a bonus action also to move it, right? So, so I can't You'll have to do it on the next turn, sure. Alright, but second attack will be on her. Okay. Uh, 13 to hit. Mm, that'll hit on the nose. Alright, so it's a 12 piercing for her. Yeah, she's still standing. Alright, and then Lena will use his move. He's just gonna duck behind the wall, like on the ledge. Okay. So he's like kind of on the edge there. Okay. Yeah, he's essentially got his back to the wall, so he's gonna come out, shoot, shoot, hide. Smart. Shambles. I'm going to step up and around this guy staying in combat with him. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do the two attacks. 17 is a miss, or That's is a it? hit. That's a hit. Great. Uh, nine piercing there. Crit fail on a punch. Okay. And... Oh, it would have been the same thing. Uh, second attack, broken sword. Uh, for six piercing. Okay. So you used your bonus action to make the unarmed strike, and you... I, I did them out of order. It, it's perfectly fine. You can interrupt your action right. with anything, so yeah, it's fine. Um, okay. It, it worked out how for you. He, how is that guy looking? Not even bloody yet. He, uh, But that worked out for you, because the dice rolls would have been unfavorable if you'd gone the other direction. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, cha oh, Zach, change the quality of your gloves. Change the quality of your they're, whole body. They're fine. <laughs> um, chody, chody. You are still mounted I, on a bear, by the way. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to go ahead because I it's was. It's cool. I no no no. It's good. I was moved. Um, that's what I I would I had nice three people hitting. Now I can't hit my three, so I'm going to instead do mind spike on big boy here. On one of the zombies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 17. That's the damage. Yeah, I got to roll a saving throw. Hold on. That's your job. I just give you the damage, bro. Now why is this giant zombie? Okay, so it's a failure. All right, so nice. you now um, you now know exactly where he's located all the time, but you could probably never miss him anyway, so... Um, the bear was going to rage oh it already I guess did that's it, it so it is raging now yeah. yep okay as i don't that's i don't know if that's metagame or not um i'll i'll stay with that then Go okay ahead. we'll put the put the proposition out there and i'll tell you i was going to give him the potion of giant strength frost giant strength to take to give him a strength of 23. So that would be your action to force a quaff. Um, yes. And the bear. Well, can't... not. I was. Well, I was going to use it next round because I already actioned to sure, do sure, a mind sure. spike. But I didn't know if I could use my movement action to do that. No, that's not a thing. If it doesn't work like that, that's yeah. old school. That's old, well, so... sort of. But yeah, you have to force him to drink, you would need to uh, use your action. Um, he is raging. It does not mean he's no longer aware of his faculties. Um, uh, no, no. I'm more thinking of the fact of does he use strength? Oh, uh, yeah. That was my... Yeah, for sure. I, I was trying to be like, would that help him? The so, bear definitely uses strength. And his, okay. his strength is already 19, so... Yeah, but it would make it a 23. So that's a plus what? Two. Plus six. Oh, okay. Well, it'd be plus two, but so, you're over. It'd add two to your attack right. and damage. But anyways, right. cool, cool, cool. It'll go to uh, me... All right. 
Chody, go ahead and make me an Arcana check, because you are pretty close to the wall. 20. You hear whispers, draconic uh, tongue speak. Uh, sounds like spell casting. You're able to identify the spell being cast. It sounds like someone inside of the uh, the building there is casting a teleportation spell. I uh, I holler out and let the group know that it seems to be that uh, we either have people coming in or people leaving. Teleportations being cast. Yeah, it, with that roll the twenty, uh, you're pretty sure that the spell being cast would denote it could go either way because the spell being cast is teleportation circle. All right, scouts. I think I've got one left. Um, she, frightened of everything that's happening, um, is going to kind of run towards the clearing. Uh, with her bow drawn, actually, fuck that. Um, <laughs> uh, she is going to panic and book the fuck out. She is running to the stairs, and she's going to take the dodge action when she gets there. It looks like she's prepared to run up the stairs and probably jump over the wall. There and. Uh... Benson, you said you heard spell casting like inside this tower proper, or like from yes. above. It's on the other side of this wall in the tower. There's so many zombies in the way. I'm guessing it was our uh, our uh, the caster from the top, the Raven. Was Birdman. Eating. You'd also be able to tell too. It doesn't sound like it was just started. It sounds like it was already in swing when you came into. He's almost done. We well, have to hurry it's not so much that he's. Something. It's not so much that he's almost done. You would know, again without our cannon check. You would know it takes a minute to cast, and he's been doing something for the last two out of the three rounds that have been active. This being the fourth, so if he's been casting, he might be two rounds into it now. Scout. Okay, so it's been started. Scout's done. Um, Raya, you are up. You see um, a bunch of zombies. Too much flesh to kind of see into the tower, even from your high-end perspective. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a shit ton of zombies, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume I'm still hidden from my save. I'm going to cast the Ghost Knife Cantrip. I'm going to pop up and throw the Ghost Dagger at the big boy in the back. Okay, the one at the door? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Definitely 17. hits. And sneak attack. Yes, it was hidden. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, six on 3d6. Nice. And then bonus action height again? It's bonus action for the cantrip, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You're, yeah, you're going to have to bonus action height the next trip. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Right. The veteran that is currently engaged with uh, Bellerin and the bear. Um, uh, real quick. I'll take my move action to step back off the step, though, so I'm at least slightly obscured from the people on the ground. Sure, sure. Total cover instead of partial. Got it. Um, the veteran that's engaged with Gondar is going to continue. It doesn't look like he's really cemented uh, the situation that's happening behind him. So he's going to go two-hander. Um, actually, this is the guy who's one, a one and one So he's going to swing with his longsword twice. Uh, 15 is the highest of the two, so that misses. And then he's going to bring in a short sword. Um, and... Uh, yeah, when you're fighting him, Gondar, uh, the longsword, you're kind of blocking, um, catching it with the sword breaker, dashing it down, and then kind of moving it aside. You see the short sword coming in low. You bring the sword breaker down and catch it and turn, and you hear a loud pop as the weapon breaks, uh, the main point of it kind of stabbing off in the ground behind Namwok. Um, his short sword is now gone. As he sees that it's basically no longer purposeful, tosses it off to the side. All right. On 15, uh, one of the swarms of ravens to the south of you, um, uh, Raya, you see it kind of drop down into the courtyard and kind of come towards this door here at the bottom uh, area. It kind of swarms around the door for a while, and then you see that as it moves away, the door opens, and three massive bulk, big boy-looking like zombies start to slowly kind of step out of that area. Well, grind, grind. All right. The ravens kind of perch up above that position now. All right. It'll go to Bellerin. 
Yep, Bellerin is going to cast Guiding Bolt at the person in Oof. So that's, I guess that's a miss. Definitely a miss, yeah. And uh, he shot it at the person he was adjacent to, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, definitely a miss. Okay. Um, as he's kind of pointing the, the beam of it, the uh, veteran kind of ducks in, pushes the, um, uh, the pommel of his weapon kind of into Bellerin's hands, causing his uh, hands to shoot up, and the stretch of light shoots off into the sky. Um. Oh. Um. Uh, Andy, go ahead and roll me a percentage dice. Okay. Sixty-seven. Okay. All right, Gondar. All right. Um. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but you didn't have a round for your zombies. Like they. They didn't get to attack or move. They just... It is intentional. Okay. They sort of meat wall. Meat wall, boys. Um, well, from what you can tell, it kind of looks like they're acting and operating as if they're being kind of... Um, they're kind of just standing around at current. It doesn't seem like they've moved towards anything in particular like or focused their attention towards anything. The only ones that seem to have agency right now are the ones that just got thrown out of the, uh, the chamber. All right, so they're protecting the caster. I'm gonna say deduction would say that they're essentially just acting as a like a wall for him so he can get out of here. Perhaps. All right. Well, this guy is in the wrong place, so he's gonna get stabbed. <laughs> in the wrong neighborhood, my friend. Stab, stab. Fifteen twenty-five. Both hit. Bad Gondars. So. Uh, still alive. Twenty-five damage. Yeah, he's still standing. Damn. Thick boy, uh, come in with the misty. Uh, another six. Oh, I forgot you're not wielding the sword breaker. Um, you, the the misty dagger has a hole in the center. Same story. You caught the point of the short sword in the hole in the center and popped it off. Yeah, improvised. He died. Uh, all right. And I guess just for flavor's sake, I'll just be like, boys, make me a hole. We gotta get that wizard. And then just go, like, yeah, I'm on it, boss. And uh, the walk will come running in. He'll attack a zombie. Ten and eighteen. Uh, both hit. Uh, nine total. Slams into his arm, kind of causes like this break in the uh, the ribs, and it kind of causes the arm to lean off the side of it. And then he swings the battle axe and catches him in the other shoulder. It hits bone, just kind of like a sickening pop. And as he pulls away, the thing doesn't seem to have changed its continents. It's still kind of just standing there. All right. All right. Kane's gonna put two into the big boy. See if we can get him to follow. Okay. Seventeen and a fourteen. Both hit. Uh, for 13. Still standing. Um, definitely can see a little bit um, uh, of damage wear on him, but he's definitely not um, bloodied. Namwok and Kane are done. Grok, you're up. Grok's going to go to town at the one that he's been fighting. So we do... It's a... And 14. Both hit? They both hit. Great. 24 One second. damage. Okay, so DC 19. Success. Uh, lucky me. Um, so you smash into the same zombie with both those attacks, and it is still standing. So I'm sorry, I thought I was hitting... Oh, you're hitting the veteran. Sorry. I thought you were attacking... I'm sorry. You hit neither of those attacks. Neither of those. Okay, attacks. that's what I thought. I I I forgot that guy existed, so <laughs> he still does. No worries. So I'll remember. He that. still exists. Yeah. All right. The elk stays outside. Yep. All right. 
and um, Leon. All right, he'll poke his head in. Looks like that big guy's getting pin cushion, so he'll help. Okay. Longbow for looks like. Do you have to set your mark? Yeah, bonus, it is. yeah bonus action, Slayer's mark, so it'll be fourteen on the big guy. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, or that's, dam that's, that's damage, sorry. Yes, um, still standing. Bloodied, though. And then 11. Uh, hits. Alright, so another 8. Um, well, does the Slayer, can the Slayer's more trigger more than once? I think it's, let me check. It should be on the character sheet. I'll read it. Yeah, the first time you hit. Yeah. So, it's just another 8. Yeah, pro tip, um... On your next turn, if you want to bring down big things quicker, you can use a bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark as well, and then Slayer's Prey and Hunter's Mark will work in tandem. So you'll be doing 2d6 extra damage against the target. Um, Shambles. I'm going to get into this gap. Uh, I'll focus on the zombie that Namwalk attacked first, so give him Sword Attack 26 to hit. Mm -hmm. For eight piercing, still up. The same one you said uh, against the Namwalk bot. Yes. Yeah, still standing. V still up. All unarmed sixteen yeah. for nine damage. And it actually will. One second. You said nine damage. Yes. So fourteen. Okay, it's still standing. Give the same thing. Uh, second attack. 19 to hit. 7 piercing. 7 piercing? Okay, hold on a second. Sure. Still standing. Saves. Yeah. yeah. Not big enough. Um, Jody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that potion of uh, giant uh, frost giant strength and quaff it into the Okay. Do you accept it? You don't have to if you don't want to, Andy. E sure, I'll accept it. Okay. So just don't change anything about your character sheet. We will note that um, for attack and damage rolls for the bear, um, and also if you are no longer a bear for some reason, um, are plus two for the bear at current. Um, okay. Uh, for the next hour. For the next hour. Plus two to attack and damage rolls. Okay. Anything else, Jody? Um, I am going to actually just... Um, this is the Minotaur, right? I can't see that. No, so. that is a veteran. That is still fighting Bellerin. That's right, that guy. Here. Okay. Oh, okay, wrong one then. Um, I am going to... Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just hang up right now then. Uh, I want to actually start uh, actively kind of perceiving and uh, trying to figure out where exactly and what the caster is doing. So I'm just going to start focusing more on perceiving where he's at. And what he's Go ahead and give me a uh, perception check followed by an arcana check. Nine. 24. You aren't able to hear the exact portion of the spell or identify exactly where in the chamber he's located. The presumption is behind the zombies, of course. Um, but... Um, you will note that based on what you have heard and recalled, the spell teleportation circle that he's casting, the only direction he'll be able to go is out. So there's nothing coming. It's him trying to escape. Okay, I let the group know that it seems that he's trying to escape. So if we want to get him, we need to push harder on the zone. Mm -hmm. All right, Chody done. It'll go to the mage. Um... He continues his spell, but he will perform a free action, which is speaking. You hear a word in Draconic spoken. Um, shambles, uh, Namwok, uh, Benson, and Grok, I would say, were the ones that are close enough to hear it. It's a pretty loud word, uh, but the second he says it, it doesn't really seem to matter what the word is. All of the zombies' eyes kind of flare, and they all kind of start looking towards the people that are closest to them with a bit more agency. Like... It seems that they weren't awakened before, and they are now effectively activated. Um, 
if that makes any sense. Scouts are all dead, um, but the thing that you notice as well, uh, Namwalk, Shambles, um, is that the scouts start to slowly pull themselves off of the ground, despite the wounds that they have on them. Well, damn it. All right. Hell with a bird wizard. <laughs> I hate this bird wizard. Uh, okay. Um... The same is true, Raya, of uh, you on the parapets. Uh, those zombies, or those scouts are slowly getting up. All right, Raya, it's your initiative. Uh, they don't seem to be looking, the ones that are up with there with you, they don't seem to be looking at you or anything. They're not kind of focused in your particular direction. They just start slowly kind of getting themselves up. Um, one of them had its neck kind of torn out by you, I assume just for flavor. Um, so when it gets up, it's kind of, its head is kind of lolling back um, and it's trying to kind of push its head back down into that, s that wet socket position. Um, the other uh, scout, um, you probably kind of gave her like a nice pinion right in the back of the skull, kind of twisted it around a little bit. So it doesn't seem she's getting up very quickly. It seems like she's having a bit more of an effort uh, to do so. But like I said, they don't seem to be... Um, moving quick enough that they are uh, going to be able to take reactions. Okay, and Monster Hunter doesn't actually help you hunt monsters, right? Um, you mean the, 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 the kit? Yeah. It comes with some tools that are beneficial, like stakes for piercing vampire yeah, that's all right. Okay. Um, can I just try to chuck one over the wall? Or it would be easier to just... Yeah, give it a go. go which, side, which side of the wall? <laughs> uh, not my side. They, no, they don't fit through the arrow slits. <laughs> Actually, I'm in test. Um, the ramparts, are they connected up here? Like, Can I walk across the wall? Yeah, um, so you should be... Uh, let me uh, make sure I've got a look on that map real quick. Because uh, it looks like there's doors in place, but those doors should actually be ajar. Uh, let me go ahead and pop those bad boys off. So you can see yeah, there. See. But a real quick note, the um, uh, and I'll go ahead and um, I'll, I'll place them down for you um, as well. Um, if you're looking outside, what you'll note um, and kind of focus on a bit is that the walls, like the, the climbing area, uh, or the walking area, um, it's covered with ravens. Um, so swarms of ravens are just kind of stacked um, in random spots on the walls. Okay. Uh... There's no way to lock those rampart doors from outside, right? Um, I would say not, because... Um, I didn't think so. It didn't really seem like it would make sense. Uh, however, balls. however, what you will note in this chamber is that you are standing pretty close to a mechanism that appears to have four levers. Um, one lever um, looks like it's kind of gear work at its um, base. The next one behind it looks like it has kind of like a solid click center point and like you can kind of maybe set it into two different positions and then um the uh other two are identical to those first two can i just flip them all yeah uh, if you do so um it'll take an action to do it um, that's fine and uh what everyone below will see is that the um uh, the doors um and the portcullises all open and um lift Nice. Then I will... Disengage. Does that take you out of all enemies or just ones you're adjacent to? All enemies for the turn will not be able to perform opportunity attacks. Okay. And then how high is the rampart wall? 15 feet down. Unless you go towards the drawbridge, then it's 25 feet down. Because there's like a... Yeah. 
I will move. Yeah, I should have just enough. I'm just going to... I'll take the disengage as a bonus. I'm going to move past the birds and drop into the opening in the wall. Um... So you're dropping down into the courtyard, you mean? Yeah, and all acrobatics over there next to Leon. Okay. Uh, oh. And I'm I'm going to inspiration that so I don't shatter my ankles and fall into snake water. Yeah, because it would be damage if you hit wrong. So if you are spending your inspiration, 30 will be fine. Yep. You'll basically roll not fallen prone and kind of land next to uh, Leon. Um, good deal. Oh, it goes. Um, it'll go to the veteran, who's still engaging with Bellerin and the bear, the one remaining. He is actually, um, during the last turn, was kind of panicking a bit. Um, and seeing the situation as it stands, and all the zombies' eyes now glowing with kind of this weird kind of purplish light, and his compatriots getting up from the ground, um, he is going to run towards Leon and kind of panic, says, Let me the fuck out of here! Ah! Trying to get past him. He smack is, it? Can I smack it? He is moving away from uh, a threatening creature, so yeah, opportunity attack away. Whoops. Just one attack. 17? Uh, that'll hit. Plus two. 19. 14. 12? Uh, 14, uh, 16. Because you're raging. Yes. And the bear string, or the frost giant string. Okay. Um, he's still alive. He manages to get to Leon and is yelling and panicking. Uh, he definitely looks like oh. he is. Leon would, he's holding a bow, so he can't really, he's not going to try to hit him. So yeah, he, he'd be like, yeah, he'll step aside and let him try to make this gap. If he... Okay. Yeah, if that's the case, um, great. Um, we'll go to uh, initiative 15. The uh, ravens all kind of start looking inwards, like into the uh, area. And the thing that's eeriest about them uh, to you, Raya, is that they're not making any noise. Like, the whole time they haven't made any noise. You didn't even really recognize them when you were climbing over the top. Like, they only just kind of appeared to you when you ran out the door and saw them. Um, and uh, they're just kind of looking into the courtyard. The three greater zombies will kind of move slowly into the courtyard. Um, they're afraid of shambles. They don't want to make any sudden movement. Right. Yeah, he is a scarecrow, so that makes sense. This is the greatest battle that ever was. Um, all right, the uh, the ravens don't act or uh, do anything. However, um, Bellerin is up. Bellerin is up. Bellerin is going to attack the one next to him with his warhammer. Okay, so he has advantage because he is uh, frightened, so that'll work. Seven damage. Seven bludgeoning. Still standing. All right. Next. Um, could I do a smite? The uh, divine um, power. So he is not a uh, paladin in the traditional sense. He does not have divine smite like a paladin. So right. He cannot so use a I could smite. do wrathful smite. He cannot use a smite spell after an attack. He has to use the spell first and then attack with it. So that's how smite. Just... Yeah. For so the next time you hit with a melee weapon attack during the spell, to... Which... okay, got. You cast the spell first and then attack. But right. he does have an ability on him called uh, something. Called what? Uh, something. I'm going to his character sheet. I'm trying to anyway. Open the damn sheet. Oh. Um, Divine Eminence. Divine Eminence. And it's the same thing. Yeah, let's do full, that. He has to use the full hand as well. Oh, bonus true. action! All his, uh, yeah. Who keeps? All right. Who dropped off? Andy. Oh, and Chody. Chody. Andy's been gone since the restart. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I I got booted out of the the. Does the link not work anymore? Uh, I'll try. I honestly, I've just been trying to get back in the game. Fair. Everybody's having a problem today. Not me, I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, man. There he goes. 
Yeah, Chody just dipped out. Um. Okay, he's back in the zoo. There he is. And he's good. <laughs> internet Sorry, issues. My internet died. It's all good, man. Man. Stupid quarantine. Yeah, it's been going on all day today. I don't know why it keeps dropping in and out. It's asking for a meeting number. What? I know, I know. I don't know what to tell you. It's not it's me off. Too? Yeah. Well, no, my, my, my um, Wi-Fi died. At the same time? A little bit ago. Oh, okay. I just have a new router, too. Just got a brand new router. All right. Well, that's a headache. Um, did you get in the... I just posted the link. Should work. Hold on. Yes. We're getting there. Great. And I managed to get everybody into the squares that they needed to be in. Okay. Um... Uh, to the uh, person who's asking in the chat, no, they are not talking about divine smite. We are talking about uh, the spells that have the word smite in them, and then divine eminence, which is an NPC's ability. Uh, yes, I know divine smite can be elected after an attack has been made, but this is an NPC that does not have class levels. It is an NPC. All right. Anywho, moving back. Bellerin is done. Um, actions engage, um, and Gondar is up. All right, you said these uh, archer zombies, they're not able to make reactions right now, right? Based on what you're looking at, they don't even seem to be fully cognizant. They're just kind of peeling themselves off the ground. I don't remember the varied ways that they all died horribly, um, but basically they're kind of slowly trying to acclimate themselves to life with those problems. Can't get any eyes on <laughs> Wizard Man, unfortunately. Same. Or on life with those problems. And yes, there does not appear to be any line of sight through two massive, three massive, four massive ogre zombies. Alright, well then, if that's the case. Well, I gotta make a path. Or whatever. Let's go. Key out. I'll keep, uh, let's focus fire, try to get one down. Okay. Are you attacking the one south of Namok then? Yes, we're just gonna, we're all gonna team up. Okay. I'm coming to in a minute. Uh, so it's 10 on that one. So DC 15, fortitude saving throw. Failure. All right, so that's a dead zombie. Hooray, all right, this, now this guy. Okay. Uh, 10. All right. He's unwounded so far, so. And then another five. All right. Still standing. Cool. Cool. And Kane and Namlock? Yep. Kane will keep trying to get this, bring this big boy. 21 and 17. Solid, solid. 13. Still up. And then Definitely Namlock. falling apart quite a bit, but yeah. But Namlock will focus fire with me. Mm-hmm. Both hit. For another uh third. First one drops him on the nose. Give me a second. Eleven fortitude save, I'll pass. And then the second one will drop him again. Um and that'll kill him actually. Good roll. Or bad roll on my part. Alright. So Basically, Namwok gets kind of, you can see him get a bit upset, because the first attack drops him and kind of brings him down to like a weird position, and the zombie kind of lifts back up unnaturally as the axe kind of pushes through like the back end of him, and then he kind of like <laughs> smashes him again and uh, lays him low this time. All right. Grok the bear. Grok bear. We'll go with this one. All right. Oh, I did it again. Uh, 28 to hit. Uh, no, 26 to hit. You don't get plus two to attack for raging. Oh, I don't get plus. I don't get plus. Two. Plus two to damage How about for plus, raging. Plus four. It's 14 piercing. Um. Okay. 
And then 19 to hit. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, I did the wrong attack. Crap. Um, it's still the same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do claws, and then I'll do the claw. Um. Uh, 13. Okay. So 14 plus 13. 14 will yeah, and then 13 will be the killing blow. Okay. So I need to make an 18 con save. Nailed it. All right, so you tear into it and practically rip it apart. You pull off, like, the rib cage and arm, uh, the meat of the zombie, and kind of, like, bite into him to kind of tear out his guts. And what should have normally just kind of caused the, the frame of the thing to fall, uh, it seems to have an undead fortitude uh, that makes it stay standing. Gosh, I'm lame. Use the name of the features. So I'm a dork. All right, Grok. All right. Done. No, it's cool. So, it's, no, so this one's de totally dead, right? It's not dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, you ripped it apart, but because it has an ability, it, it stays standing. Okie doke. All right. Uh, giant Elk is staying out. Uh, and as a free action, Leon will actually whistle for it, and it's going to direct it to essentially just stomp on these like fresh undead that are starting to get up so they don't become a problem. Okay. So you're allowing the veteran to pass by you, you said? Yeah, if he's... Yeah, I'm assuming he's not going to take shots at the elk if he's just trying to escape, because well, we're letting him go. We'll say that he got across the waterway after Bellerin hit him with a hammer, and then the elk will have no problems getting through. Yeah, so elk's rushing in, it's, um, and then it'll uh, just stomp on this thing. Okay. So, holy shit. Don't, 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 we love Stampy. Don't bar, bother. <laughs> oh, that son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no. We need to do... Oh, my God. I was going to say, don't bother rolling damage. And then you rolled 29 plus 12. Um, okay. Because I'm a. Because it's not even all the damage because of the puddle, elk's feature. Yep, yep, yep. Because I am a, a more than fair GM, um, and uh, uh, I, 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 that is insane. And uh, these things are. Uh, technically minions uh, it boulders through right behind two shambles in the process murdering uh, the two scouts that are slowly trying to get up just rips them apart with its horns tearing through them um, parts of the scouts kind of dangling and hanging off of the antlers as it does so um, and the hooves are just just grime shod like it's disgusting um, but epic all right <laughs> a, a small tear teardrop comes out of Leon's eye. He's like, "Oh, Looks, he's a god." <laughs> so great. He's, he's the nature god reincarnated. Um, but yeah, let's just get let's finally get this big guy down. Um, Leon doesn't actually have Hunter's Mark trained, so I can't come, but it's fine. All right. Chody's having a rough time. Yeah, I've noticed. I've been uh, trying to do a workaround to make it look. Tidy. Um, on the what? The big one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll work. So it's eight plus six. That's a fourteen. All right. So my DC is going to be fourteen plus five. One. Uh, nailed it. So it slams it right in the head. You see the arrow go through, and can kind of hear like a, a nice soft crack. Uh, as its head kind of reels to the side, you can see that it blew out a hole out of the back of the zombie's head, but it slowly kind of reels back up to standing in its full upright. All right, put in, let's put another one down. Uh, so it's another nine. All right, give me another chance to make that. Another fourteen. Um, this time it finally falls. All right. Is is Leon able to mount his elk as a free action, or is that an action uh, part five, of his movement? It's part of five feet of his movement. It's the special ability he has. Okay, so he will run over, grab it by the thing, and do that nonsense leg loss thing where he somehow swings around and. Dope. Yeah, that'll be it. Trying to fix my camera and stuff. Oh, and then uh, bonus action. I'll put Slayer's Play on this zombie. So we gotta make an entrance. Alright, cool. Uh, 
Okay. Thanks for bearing with me there. That is uh, Leon. Shambles, you're up. What kind of uh, movement penalty are we looking at trying to get through this mess? Um, you, can't, the steps. you can't move through zombie um, enemies, so uh, you're pretty much going to stop at the zombie. I would have to stop at the door? Yeah. I have to stop at this door here? Yeah, that would be correct. Okay. Well, see if you can't get eyes on. I would normally I allow. I was, I was really wanting to sneak, try to get past him. I would normally allow for see someone to jump way. over a creature that's the same size of them, um, but since behind that creature there's literally nowhere to land, uh, <laughs> because there's three ogre zombies, um, I would not allow that. Three. Yeah. There are two sets of stairs. I think those just lead out on top of the wall. Those, I was gonna say that those, there's no like doors on the ramparts into the tower up those stairs. There do there. not appear to be. Yeah, I think this looks like the only way into the tower is through that door. I don't want to, I don't want to bottleneck everybody behind me. There's a window about twenty feet above the door, uh, but the door itself is already fifteen feet tall. Is the window up there? Is it with the rampart? No, a bit higher. Uh, Why don't you use your action to heft the zombie out of the way? About 10 feet higher. I don't have the strength to heft. No. Okay. I'm not hefting anybody. Well, a bear could do it, maybe. I don't know. Is the, uh... The wall that's in... Of the tower, does it look pretty... Does it have enough grooves that it's climbable? It would be a sheer climb. It would definitely require uh, a lot of skill. uh, But you can attempt it. What about if you have a climb speed? If you have a climb speed, then that's a different story. Yeah, it's then it's definitely climbable. I mean, yeah, it's you have a climb speed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I know a climb speed, but like if something is a pure slick surface, you, just because you have a climb speed, I would just it sometimes works. You could. It depends on how your climb speed works. Like if you're breaking claws into the stone, then yeah, you'd be able to climb it. Sure. If you're spidery and have spider climb, then yeah, you'd be able to climb it, sure. But it's not a sheer surface. It's it's definitely still hewn stone, but it's not like it's not very. Yeah. There's not a lot of grab holds. It's not going to be easy. I'm just gonna rotate around this guy and try to block too many more from escaping out, okay. and I'll just go ham on this topmost zombie outside the door. Cool. So um, twenty four to hit crit uh damage it's dead cool the, and... the, the crit will kill it oh cool then unarmed attack on this one here okay hit four six bludgeoning all right okie dokie Chody. not here right Oh, right, right. Um, let me open up his character sheet. See what I can muster from him. Technical difficulties day. I am going to cast... I'm going to um, lean forward on the um, the bear, and I am going to cast down onto the zombie shocking grasp. All right. And that damage is correct. The 12 is correct, I think, yeah. Does he get, like, bonuses to touch spells because he's a hand man or something? Yeah, he's a chiromancer, so um, he gets a bonus to his um, touch spells um, equal to his intelligence modifier, which is why there's a plus three in there. Oh. Dog, get out of here. Shoo, be gone. He should have dipped into a... Got him, somehow got an inflict wounds, dipped into cleric or something. That would be dope. And he's down. It's only for cantrips. Oh. And you can cast any cantrip that has a range as a touch spell instead. So, that's how that works. Uh, It goes to the mage. This is 
So five remaining. I believe. No, six remaining. Double checking. Six yeah, remaining. Six at the start of this turn. It was six at the start of this turn. So this going will... from when I started. Okay. So then this will set it to five. Then at this point, five more turns. Yeah, at as, soon this as, point. as soon as I go, it'd be at five. Yep. So we, but we're tracking off the mage. So. Da, da, da. Scouts are um, now active, but there's only one, two, three that are. The two up top aren't going to do anything besides rummage around. This one's going to step in towards the elk and attack it. Eleven misses, probably. Yes. Okay. Um, it goes to Raya, and I'm going to try and sort out these pets that keep running around real crazy. Um, I'm sort of listening. I'm just going up the steps. Yeah, he's not listening. Oh, My plan is on. I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to gonna try to climb up to the window so I can get eyes on the guy and then if I can't not like Misty step down and assassinate him we'll see what happens. It's a secret. I just, I just fucking hate birds. I don't like this guy. Fair. So, bonus, <laughs> bonus action, I'm dashing to where my marker is now, and as an action, I'm going to try to move around the wall. Is that good? Um, so you're moving up the stairs and then up onto the wall there? Yeah. Okay. And then what were you saying? I uh, use my action to continue moving. How passable is that ledge across the front of the building? Well, there's a bunch of ravens up there, so let's cover that problem first. There's none on my map. The second you get to the top of the stairs, that's what you would see. Do you want to move through the ravens or no? Hold on. Got to scroll over to the other map. Yeah, I'll just kick them as I walk into this space. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Good answer. The ravens will attack you. Alright, Swarm of Beaks. Uh, 21 hit. Yeah. Take 12 points of piercing damage. Ow. And um, you are not entering their space. They are holding no, their I position. I moved to Jason. Yeah. Then and I will... Blocking you from trafficking further. Shambles, get up here as I swing a rapier at this group of rapiers. 24 to hit. Yeah. Piercing damage? Yes. Alright. Doesn't seem to do as much as you'd hoped, but yeah, you managed yeah, to... Yeah, all bad. It was a swarm. A whole bunch of them. You did manage to hurt... You were like three or four. <laughs> you managed to hurt one of them, like, pretty good. But like a kebab. Yeah. <laughs> you got a raven on your... On your you, gotta, you gotta clean that off. <laughs> Beats back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Alright. Um, good deal. Um, it'll go to the veteran... Campbell's, I need you! I don't think I'm making any progress in this door. I think I, I, think I might get there. It's going to be real bad if you do get uh, to he, door. Sorry, the veteran continues to run away. I'm sorry, he shouldn't even be on the board anymore. The uh, dead veterans um, are slowly trying to get out, but most of them have been torn apart pretty well. You pretty much had to go in and them like a can opener to get to them. The uh, swarm of ravens there, and this swarm of ravens that is now flying around to uh, the side of you uh, will both attack you. Caw -caw! Crit. Caw -caw! Probably misses. 15 misses. Me? Yeah. Okay. 15 points of damage from the pierce, or from the piercing from the. Uh, um... Do you want to uncanny dodge that? Yeah, that? Probably should. Yeah, reaction habit, so uh, seven instead. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, Chody, you, you killed a zombie with lightning. Yeah! The last one. <laughs> Good job, bud. Nice job. And that is it for that. Hold on a second. Was what did I kill it with? Uh, lightning grasp? Shocking grasp. Electric, shocking grasp. <laughs> electric finger. All right, goes to um, the other swarms, which will hold their position. And uh, Bellerin. Bellerin is going to do Sacred Flame on the one uh, directly to the left of Lee. I'm certain Jody's frozen, but I love the face he's making. 
Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's too bad it's not showing on camera. Hold on. <laughs> that side eye is incredible. Okay, now it is. <laughs> now this is immortalized uh, by by recording. <laughs> you just recap it. Uh, no, I, he wasn't. I had it hidden away because I had an extra slot. Oh my God, Chody, don't try to try to don't try to join the Zoom. That's awesome. So DC eleven deck save. Uh, Oh my for God. the sacred flame. Yeah, hold on a second. I need a, like an elf can't make a deck save. I need a person to. No, it dies. It's a zambi. Oh, that's right. It's a zambi. All right. Um, and it obliterates it um, entirely. Whole club. So actually, I wanted to do the one that was right next to Leon because it was threatening. Which one those, two are dead. those are no, those, dead. those are dead. Oh, those, those are all dead. dead. He just forgot to mark them. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's great. Then the other one. Right. Super. Both of the ones that are under the elk are dead. So the one that you suggested, the one that's adjacent to Leon, would be the one I, I knocked off the the dead one. Super. All right. Uh, Gondar. Um. All right. So how you said the there's a window fifteen feet. There is a door that's twenty foot high, and then fifteen feet above that is a window. I need 35 feet of movement to get up there. Yeah. Come with me. All right. You, um, you would be able to see that Raya is currently being swarmed by two massive packs of um, feather and beak. Tell what he, what, what he's trying to an accomplish. Entrance. We gotta... I was going to say, can I tell what he's trying to accomplish over there? Is there like a door or an entranceway? Or... A window above the door. Honestly, from this current perspective... It looks like he's trying to steal Shambles' job and, like, just botching the shit out of the interview. Okay. I don't respect Skeps. <laughs> well, I'll help. Um, let's Misty. Um, how far away? Let's see. How far close can I get? Can I get to him with just my... Yeah. Um, Are you going to Misty step? No, I'm not going to Misty step. I can just run there. So I'm going to... Uh, how do I get to him? Where is he? Can't see him on this map. I know, at the top of the stairs, one to the right. Yeah, it's a different map to be oh, on the second elevation. What the heck? And then you're now stop in moving. my square. <laughs> oh my god, stop moving. <laughs> Every time I reach to pick up your token, it's like... <laughs> cool, be so we're, we're, that. Ah, that's so where... Eh. We're in Swarm Town. Oh, okay. Um, which one did you stab? Don't do one, piercing. One ahead of me or the one to the right? Just beat the shit out of it. It's a swarm. There's two swarms. Oh, there was only one when I was up here before. Another one flew behind you, yeah. The oh, one that so, was the um, I'll stab the one you're stabbing. Hiya! Mm -hmm. um, so it's a critical strike for damage. Slashing. Yeah, I'm, I'm having it, I know. You're attacking the one to the south there, then. Okay. So, 12 plus... Um, actually, that crit damage is wrong. It's 14, 21. So, that is half to 10. And then the second attack hits for half of 7, 3. All right. That's a blade's fine. I'm just like for shambles. Yeah, you kill a lot. You kill. I mean, you basically hop up onto the ledge there and start tearing into them, and birds start flying off to the edges there. Um, yeah, it definitely looks like a a, 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 a true horror show. Um, as he's doing it, um, Gondar, um, you're kind of lost in the bird murder. You're kind of focusing a little bit of attention on the one that just came up from behind you because it hit you the hardest, Raya. And what you notice is that the pack that you tumbled past and the two large swarms on the other side seem to be slowly kind of pulling themselves off the wall and kind of slowly gliding in your direction. They'll do so on their initiative. Next even turn. in the rain? Yeah, even in the rain. <laughs> Kane! Just uh, slide back over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, sorry. So how much movement does it take to cross the gap now? Um, what normal, it like would be to go down to the rain, so 30 feet to go down and up. Okay, so he'll just get to the other side then. Mm -hmm. Then, looks like I don't really have a good shot on anything. These ones here at the top are starting to reanimate. 
Yeah, they suck. No, no, These no. guys I are said, fresh. I was saying that the veterans are not able to regenerate because they were pretty oh, much open so much. They were... They're, they're moving. It I looks, thought you were insinuating they were just having a hard time of it. They're, they're, they're definitely... There's definitely an attempt happening, um, but if you've ever seen the movie um, The Reanimator, it's, it's similar in kind to, like, you know, like a partial zombie that really can't do anything besides kind of flop about. So... Do I have a good enough shot on the ogre zombie inside through the door, or is it too close? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it has plus two to its AC for cover, but yeah, you could probably hit it. It doesn't have a huge AC. It's just All a right. massive flesh, really. a challenge. Can you hit a ten? Crit and no. eight. All right. So give me the crit damage. Twelve. Double in. All right. So twenty-four. All right, and then Namlock will just te team up with Shambles. Oh, um, yeah, the second shot missed. Yeah, yeah, it was just the one. Yeah, it would have hit if he didn't have the cover. Um, all right, and then Namlock. Yeah, he'll just team up with Shambles, and essentially, because Gondar's gone, he'll just team up with whoever else is. Okay. 20 yeah. and a 15. Both hit. Or 13. All right. Uh, still standing. Uh, no roll or anything. It doesn't look like he's using his vitality. Grok? Grok. Well, I would really like to make it to the zombies over here on the left. Can I get there through the dead? Uh, yeah. My movement is 40. They're difficult terrain, but um, uh, you don't have to go over them, really. You can kind of tiptoe through the middle and pass through the elk. Um, tiptoe back. Uh, so I was thinking I could jump from there. I mean, if you wanted, to, yeah, if you wanted to get there, perfect. That's fine. I'll just do that. I'll just be where I am. Um, and we're gonna start smacking. On. Let's do the one to the directly to the left of of Grok. A quick note: um, as you kind of jump towards them, their attention seems to have uh, been kind 23 of twenty-three to hit. Okay. Um, real quick, um, as you're jumping towards them, their uh, attention seems to have been kind of focused on their hands for a time. They didn't move during that last portion. As you're jumping down into them, they all that you are adjacent to kind of throw their hands out towards you as if they're doing so anticipatorily. Um, okay. Let's see. That is a one miss. And one hit. Um, let's see. You'll be taking seven bludgeoning damage and ten necrotic damage. As these hit you, okay, so you notice that they seem to have their hands are like glowing with pulsing black energy. It almost has like a strobe-like effect as it hits you. Like it's leaving tracers of their hands as they slam into you. Okay, so I I have the the seven because of rage, right? Yeah, so three, and then you'll take the full necrotic ten. Which is ten, okay. Okay, um, so let's see. What we're going to do is um, we're going to then hit the other one with our so other attack. The bite attack hits. Give me damage for the bite attack. Plus whatever I'm plussing. Is it plus, plus four? Uh, four. All right, so as you kind of bite into the, uh, the one and kind of wrench out, you notice that these ones are much older uh, dead than the dead that are rushing out. And as you kind of peel it away, uh, the gore that kind of comes out is fetid. Um, the uh, red of the uh, blood is darker than you um, would enjoy. And uh, it, it immediately has a smell of uh, old death. Um, the 23 hits, 23 hits as well. So that would be 13. So 14 and 13. After you kind of finish smashing into it, the wounds kind of lay uh, open for um, you know uh, a time, but you notice that it doesn't seem to change at all any bit of the frame of the creature. The wounds don't seem to have an effect on it. Okay, and then I'm going to, as a bonus action, um, uh, use Combat Wild Shape at second level. Take care of yourself, 1d8. 2d8. 2d8 for second level? Yep. Elk. As you 
That's Steve. wrong. Oh, the elk, sorry. Okay. Um, yes, I have a plan. Um, so Leon's actually going to get the elk to rear back um, a second, and so it can build up some speed, and then we're just going to yeet 20 feet forward, and we're going to have just try to grind this zombie into a... Okay. Give me that uh, hooby hooves. Yes. Uh, shit. No. <laughs> oh, not Stampy. It's not able to it's kind of. Heaven. It's not able to like. It's not expecting it. Uh, its antlers kind of get caught in the door frame, and it's trying to throw the hooves forward. And Hold the zombie, up. the zombie's just everybody like. Everybody had inspiration. Somebody fucking spend it. Oh yeah. It's, All of it's, it's, it's way <laughs> funnier the way. It's it way, is funnier. No, it's way funnier the way I described it. Yeah, but this is Stampy. Stampy you doesn't. Use, yeah, Stampy doesn't miss. You cannot, he's use, gonna, you cannot use Kevin's inspiration for this. You cannot I'll use, use my. I've gone to use his inspiration. Fine. It's two. Stampy is a god, and he never. Roll your damage. Twenty-four plus. I need to make a DC twenty-eight. <laughs> um, Let's see it. I need to roll nine. If I roll a natural twenty, I can get it. Damage is Actually, ridiculous. Actually, it's, it's thirty because of charge. If I roll a twenty, natural twenty, I can get it on saving throw. I rolled a 20, but it's a dirty 20, so that's a dead ass. Uh, fucking Chody, I'm not, I'm not playing with you right now, man. It's I'll get right. out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll you're, get out. you're just gonna drop out of the freaking uh, video in like two seconds, and I'm gonna have to do more work to keep you in. I'm sorry. It just, you're not worth it. I love you. I miss you. I'm okay, at the, the door frame. I still can't see. Throw up that free from from earlier. Um, yeah, that'll that'll work. You can put the freeze frame in. That's fine. So that's dead. There's still three big zombies in the way blocking your sight. Ah, still can't see it. But yeah, it gets Kevin's turn. Um, so yeah, I literally have no angle on a a wizard. No wizard can you know Kevin's a man of the wild. Um, can you try to actively? Like in perceive where the wizard is, like so, if you're listening to where he's chanting. Yeah, he definitely knows he's inside of the room. There's kind of an echo. It doesn't matter on the roll. What I'm basically trying to relay here is, is that the zombies are blocking sight and kind of audio. Uh, just it, it's not going to be something you can target. Okay. <laughs> then this thing, uh, Slayer's mark on it. Okay. Um, I knew we had more fun. You know what? These things don't have a lot of health, so I'm gonna call the shot for whatever it's called, sharpshooter. Sure, sure. I mean, they don't have a lot of AC. But yeah. Yeah, so it's 11. Um, that'll hit, and it'll do plus so, 10, 24 points of damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wounded. Oh, can I call the shot more than once? It's uh, all the time. Or, yeah, it's on each attack. Oh, uh, that's critical fail on that long. Change the longbow to fine, please. Sure. Unless someone else wants to spend their inspiration. That's a no. All right. I genuinely don't have one to give. Mine's gone too. That's okay. Yeah. Shambles. We did a lot of cool shit this fight. Uh, so we're getting the impression that the wizard is in that room. Mm -hmm. He's definitely in there, but we have to at least kill one of these zombies to like make a line of sight to him. I assume. Correct. So. We might, if you want to disengage from that one and like. I'm going to bonus action disengage, spend a key point to do so. I'm going to get in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to wail on this one on to the south of me. Sure. So just two attacks with broken sword. Yes. Ten. Or hit, sorry. And hit. Ten, ten both hit. Yeah. Nine and eight, 17 total. Okay. Pretty well wounded, still standing. Bonus action? The bonus mm -hmm. action was to disengage. Oh, right, right. No, uh, step of the wind. Okay. Chris Chody? Move over here. Beacon bolt inside at level... Okay. The zombie that they've been shooting. I'm sorry, not level two, just normal, I guess. At the zombie they've been shooting? Yeah. Eleven hits. Eleven does hit. Damage? Twelve. Still standing? 
All right, and Beacon Bolt does what? Uh, if I cast it any higher, it'll jump around to more, uh, more people. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't. It didn't give me a thing to cast higher, so I'm just gonna say I cast it normal. Okay. So level one. So only got one. Uh, it'll go to the mage. This will be four, right? No, yeah, four. Five was last time. All right. Four remaining. Four remaining. Yeah. Well, yeah. After. Uh, so it'll be next turn, turn after that, turn after that, and then gone. Yeah, he'll disappear on the fifth turn from right now. Is that how you were doing it when you were doing the six that we counted off? Yeah. Of? Okay. Yeah, when okay. it hits zero, that should be the turn he goes. Got Not it. on one. Okay. Then in my brain, I'm going to change it to five, because on the last turn is the turn he's out. So... Instead of it being four in my brain, it's five. You count it however you like. Scout. Um, there are none. She ran away. Yeah, she would have gotten out by now. She's probably over the wall and out. Um, Raya. Oh, sorry, sorry. One initiative. One. Apologies. I'm going to swing in with my zombies on the elk. Uh, hit and hit. Uh, it'll be a total of uh, 13 points of damage on the elk. What? Uh, the two zombies that are standing adjacent to it, they bash into it for a total of 13 points of damage. No, not Stampy. Okay. Uh, he'll he'll go down then. He only have eleven health. All right. And the greater zombies are acting on the same initiative as uh, a swarm of ravens, um, as per their activation. The ogre zombies will now bash the crap out of shambles. Let's see. Uh, twenty-one. Uh, fifteen probably misses. 23 probably hits, right? Shambles? Hit, yes. Does it fit? 15 doesn't, though, right? No. Okay. So then you'll take 17 from the first attack, so 14. And you'll take 17 from the second attack, so 14. Five uh, down. All right. Then Raya. <laughs> okay. Bonus action, disengage. Okay. Move action. You can't move through. You can't move through swarms, by the way. Or you can't move through creatures when you disengage. You just move out of threatening. Nope. Yeah, you can diagonal down into Gondar Square. That's fine. You can get out of there, but you cannot move south of the wall, and you can't move off of the wall towards the ravens to the side. Can I hurdle them? Yeah, you know, there's. It's a good six feet tall swarm of ravens. You can. Dip into Gondars and then down and around, but that'll be an extra square of movement more than you were anticipating. So, does that make sense? Yes and no. You're not allowed to move through creatures. Can I acrobatics on the edge of the wall? It, it's the same result. If you're, if you're trying to move south, you can step into Gondar Square and then move to the square to the south of, of that position. Yeah, what's the climb check to get back up there, though? There is no climb check to get back up there. He's at the top of the steps. It's just a hop. It's just a bloop. There's no check. It's just going to increase your movement by one. Yeah, so. it's still annoying, because if I had I known that, I would have bypassed the birds on the last turn. I wouldn't be here. Okay. Are you trying to get out of There's... here, or are you trying to get to the wall of the tower? I want to be in the window. There is no window here. The window's over here. I know where the window is. I have just enough movement. I can get under it and use my action to climb up to it. Had I known I could just walk behind the How? birds on the last turn, I would have done that. Do you have a climb speed? No, I would use an action to climb. Okay, your, your movement's still going to be half, so I don't think you're... Okay, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40... 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. You would be here and under the window if you were to 
have a climb speed, but since you, no, no, without a climb speed, if you were able to make an athletics check for climbing, you'd be able to get to the window over here. Why are you having my speed? Because you're climbing. You don't have a climb speed. Okay. You would have Maybe to, I... so you'd have to dash to do it, but yeah. Well, then it would be bonus action disengage, move to the window, and then wait till next turn to climb. No, 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 no. No. The window is not where you think it is, I think. The window is here. I'm going to ping it again. I know exactly where it is. Ten feet above the door. Ten feet above the ledge I'm standing on, is what you said. Right. The ledge that... The door is... The door is here. <laughs> you have to climb around the side of the building to get to it. Yeah, and on the bottom map, there's a ledge there that's at least as big as the one that's around the outside no. by the moat. No, on the bottom map, that's not a ledge. That's the wall. There's no ledge. That's just the wall. Okay, then I'm up here for no reason. I mean, you can climb to it right now. You'd be at the window, but it would take your whole turn to do it, is what I'm saying. It's that much climbing, I wouldn't do it. I don't have that kind of strength. I thought I was going to make a 10-foot climb. No, it's definitely not a 10-foot climb. Yeah, the window... The window is above the door. The ledge does not go around the whole thing. It's just the ramparts that you're on. Let me know what you want to do. Yeah, I, I don't know. I fuck, stab birds. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Are you stabbing the same birds that have been stabbed so far? Do the ones to the left. Okay. That way he's actually adjacent to them. Um, well, he's actually adjacent to both. Again, it's right at the top of sets. But yeah, that's fine. 24 half is 12. All right. You managed to skewer a few of them um, in your wild swinging. All right. Uh, the birds start to fly overhead, everybody, on the ground level. They seem to be heading in the direction of where Raya went up the steps. I believe this one will actually be able to make it. No, because diagonals, it'll be down one. All right, um, and then the greater zombies will act on this initiative. I'm going to move this one to adjacent to the bear. Now I'm going to punch him. Uh, does a 14 hit your AC? Bear? It hits bear's AC, yes it does. Does a 12? Yes it does. So all three attacks hit. Uh, first attack does 9 bludgeoning and 8 necrotic. Second attack does 10 bludgeoning and 8 necrotic. Last attack does 5 bludgeoning and 8 necrotic. I need you to say that again. Okay, so it'll be a total of 4, 5, 11 points of physical damage after having it. And a total okay. of uh, 8, 16. 24 points of necrotic damage, no half. Okay, so Grok drops out of bear. You can take any position that you want in the, the bear grid. And I'll go ahead um, and delete oh. any one of those four squares you want to be in. Okay. And I'll delete the bear. Is that where you want to stay? Um, so w when you say any more of the four squares, I could go back Which here. is why you should have had the bear staying in that position. Yeah, any one of those four spaces. That's right. Perfect. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. That one. All right. Then it'll go to Bellerin. Bellerin is going to go right here, and here he'll heal Grok. Okay. So we'll do Cure Wounds at third level. Sixteen back. So the elk is back up. It looks like. 
All right. Well, is, he is he healed, carrying, he is he... Grok. I heal Grok. Oh, you're healing Grok. Yeah, not the elk. Okay. Whoa, hold up. <laughs> you were, Grok or, Grok, if it's between Grok and the elk, Grok's sidekick is going for Grok. Fair enough. Um, yep, yeah, Gondor. So, would you say, uh, using the Pythagorean theory, that I would be 30 feet diagonal from the window at the top of this room? So, it's 20 feet, or, yeah, 15 feet tall, um, no, sorry, 20 foot doll, doll door, and then uh, 10 or 15 feet above that is where the window's at. So it's 35 up to the window. And, yeah. that means and I'm that... currently at the top of the rampart, which is how high off the ground? Oh, let's see, diagonals. Yeah, that's what I'm If it's 30 foot, my thing, if it's a 30 foot diagonal, we're in business. If it's not. Um, it's 15 feet up. And so that would be about 30 feet. Yeah, you could teleport right in front of the window, but you'd have to make an athletics check to suddenly grab it. Since you're teleporting, it normally puts you in a standing position. Uh, but you, since you're teleporting in air, you're going to have to make an athletics check to slam onto the ledge and grab it. I do have a climbing speed. Could I put myself in such a position where I would be able to just... No athletics check something. necessary. Yeah, you'll, you'll basically be doing the same thing. You're just grabbing on and have a climb yeah, speed. Yeah, like I'm putting myself in an ideal situation to hoist myself into the wind. Yeah, what's your climb speed from? Uh, 30 feet. Oh, nope. Cardithian climbing. Got it, got it. I'm a mountain man. Yeah, you're perfectly fine. This is definitely exactly what that's for. So yeah, if you teleport right, 30 so. feet, yeah, you'd be right at the window. And if you are at the window... What do my boy eyes see? One second. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to pick your token back up and move you to the other map. So you're, so you're actually forty five or yeah, forty five feet up, at that position, holding onto the lip, kind of looking into the window, and you can see the mage in center of a fifteen foot wide circle, um, moving his hands and blue energy kind of flowing from them. His robes kind of hood back. You can see his red skin, uh, tiefling horns up, um, and uh, he does notice you. What in step? Damn! I was gonna say with his own shenanigans, I hope he wouldn't have seen me come. Yeah, you kind of appeared in a poof of mist at the window, so... Yeah, That's looking... Added. My silhouette in the window, muscles obviously gleaming and sweaty in the sun. I'll just, and if he sees me, I'll just point and say, Calareth, this is your chance to surrender. I will spare your life. He doesn't break chanting. Son of a bitch. Um, is the inside of the, the same kind of rough stone as the outside or is it smoother like yeah I start, but when i start you, my descent essentially what you notice here is that about uh since you're about 35 feet up about 20 feet down is the tops of the ogre heads wink wink nudge nudge hint hint yeah exactly that's the if you wanted so, to yeah. jump out onto an ogre because you haven't moved yet uh, yeah, exactly that's what i'm thinking i want to try to if i can could, bound down and then behind them you could bound down to the mage if you wanted to yeah that's the idea. Be use my ex epic dexterity to get essentially beside. Him. So go ahead and make an acrobatics check since you're falling in this way. Critical success. All right, and uh, you are able to move your speed so thirty feet, uh, which would get you to right about there if you wanted. Um, because of that crit, would you give me advantage on these? No, because I'm essentially jackknifing him. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> that's not a thing I would do. <laughs> All right. Knife, knife. Uh, Seventeen total. Um, first attack hits. Second attack does not. Does not. Mm, he's a thick maid. You kind of stab him with the uh, first attack, and blood kind of flies away. As it's pulling away, you notice this kind of glistening aura about him. The second attack comes in and. Ding! Bounces off of it. Alright. Um, you already used your bonus action. I did. And... 
the gas with my fighter abilities. So I guess I'll just go for another... Still giving you a chance to come walk out of this alive. Yeah. I've got to make a concentration check real quick. I took damage. Because that'll change the nature of the fight very quickly. Failed. He stops chanting. The ring around the uh, uh, him on the ground stops. It just disappears. Would you say his face is more of a panic or more of a... Oh, he's pissed off. Oh, uh-oh. Yep. All right. Um, that was Gondar. That's yeah, so my squad is... Okay. We've got to go. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so... Shoot the big boy. He's still got the plus two AC on the inside. Actually, I'd say it's higher now that there's an elk in the door. So he's got uh, plus five. Even though the elk is, like, down... Like lying down because it got down, um, <laughs> and it's still dying. Yeah, uh, that's fine. No bonus just, for that. Just the plus two. Twenty-one and a five. Five decimal one. misses. Yeah. So uh, nine more. All right, that'll drop it. But TC thirteen easy to make success. He's still standing. All right, then Namwalk. All right. Uh. Elk is currently dying, so it is difficult terrain to walk over it. But um... I'm not seeing this. Where is the elk? He's under that zombie in the door. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it um, is, a is this pile of fucking meat there. It's gonna be so hard to get in. Um, I'm gonna say it's difficult terrain, and I'm gonna require an athletics check to pile over the dead huge zombie and the dead huge elk to get into the door. Okay, then in that case, I will attempt to. Okay, it, it's, it's just a DC, a DC 10, but, I mean, yeah, double... Yeah, he's in. He can climb in. Yeah, I'll get beside Shambles. And attack um, the Kogar to the south. And, yeah, we're gonna... We gotta make some room. Give him. Uh, 19 hits. Hit. Both, okay. Mm -hmm. 8 AC. Um, so 8 plus 4 is 12. All right. Two saving throws here. I actually am not. I don't care about the damage. I just like care about the save that I need to make. Um, success and success. Yeah, it is not dead. It's you're ripping out the kneecaps, and the thing should not be standing, but for some reason it just manages to hold its position. All right, Grok in turtle form. These three zombies appear to kind of be glowing with necrotic energy. They seem to be much stronger yeah. than yeah. anything present. Right, so Grok is going to drop out of rage because the the resistance to physical damage is not really helping him. It's the necrotic damage that's doing all the nasty business. So mm -hmm. he's going to drop out of rage and he's going to cast Thunder Wave at these three. All right, hold on. Constitution saving throws? Yeah. Let's see. Fail. What's the DC for you? Um, hold on. Spell save DC should be 15. Yep, 15. Okay. 15. Fail, fail. All right. So they'll both be thrown back 10 feet. Isn't it all three of them? Uh, all three I, of them? I said both, and I meant all three. My brain didn't work. Um, and they, they take a whopping seven thunder down. Okay. And then for movement, Grok is going to start heading in with the others. He's um, going crazy. Are you going on to the... Oh, you're... I won't, I'm hold... okay. I don't know what's happening, but my token is flipping it. Can you move me um, behind Shambles? You need to make an athletics check to do so, yeah. I need to reload, but if you could move me, that'd be great. You, you would need to make an athletics check to be able sure. to... Sure, so I have a plus... 10? Yeah, you're fine. What, whatever the... Um, Whatever the thing gets. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Like a cool, 30. Cool. Elk is dying. Death saving throw, please. Um, Because Kevin and Elk go on the same initiative, can Kevin go first? Yeah. All right, cure wounds, second low. Uh, good. So, nine, ten. Okay. Um, the Elk has no choice but to be moved, force moved, if it's going to stand up. And it has to go here. Okay. 
there is nowhere else it could go legally um, without uh, doing that. And I'm assuming that not only is he curing it, he's also mounting it again. Yeah, essentially, as a play, like, the elk would have like fallen while Kevin was still on its back, and then he's like healing it so it can regain its footing. Sure. And in the part of it shifting away, the two zombies that are still kind of idly over there swing at it, uh, but they miss. I mean, right. Yeah, they miss. These are not the minion zombies, so they have their reactions. Okay. So, so Elk's turn, it's going... Kevin will essentially get it to bound in such a way so we get line, nice and lined up. Need to get... Alright, five more feet. Going maximum Elk power. Alright. For guided missile Elk. Yeah, we'll try to smash this on. Okay. Uh, it. Uh, twenty-one. Plus not even. Not even a chance. Count. Yeah, I rolled. I rolled not a twenty. Okay, and then uh, shambles. This is a twenty-one to seven. Okay. That's one failure. All right, uh, Benson. I can get in my uh, teammate squares, right? You cannot stay in those squares unless you... If I go in there and I uh, use my action to quaff him a potion and then move out of it, is that all? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to go in here, uh, use a potion on um, the... uh, Actually, you're a halfling. just allowed. It's super, super cool. (laughs) You're a halfling. You can share spaces with uh, allies. Okay. Well, I'm I'm just going to give him the potion that I'm going to get out. Okay. So either way, so just a regular potion if you want to roll for it. Two d four plus two. All right. The mage sucks. We'll circle around Gondar, raise his hand, and cast lightning bolt through the door. I need Shambles, Namwalk. Uh, I'm still on the ground, though. <laughs> Grok. Wow. And his own ogre. Well, let me double check this line. Hold on. It's five feet wide. It is going to hit. You're hitting the wall. Yeah. Well, it wraps around. It doesn't narrow focus. Um, also, I, you're not dragging from his token? No, I'm dragging from the corner of his token because it's five feet wide. It's not one, oh, I see. It's not I one see. inch wide. Oh, I draw the line. Yeah. Um, let's see. So it's basically touching the corners is what I'm trying to show there. Um, Leon will get a save, but he'll have advantage for his saving throw. And then Sh- Namwok, uh, no such... Actually, he will have advantage as well. Uh, so will Shambles, so will Grok, because the zombies are in the way. Gondar, on the other hand, will not have such advantage. Go ahead and make your reflex saving throws, please. Oof. Gondar gets advantage. I'm going to use a reaction to absorb elements. That's a good idea. Good thing. Should have done it the first time that happened last last game. Oh, I didn't get uh, healing numbers from that potion, I don't think. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want to roll it, man, you're fine. You can roll it. What is it, 2d8? 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. So Gondar gets 21, Namlock got a 19, and Leon got a... Okay. So the uh, DC is a meager 14. Um, if you uh, succeeded um, or halved it somehow, you're taking 22 lightning. And if you fail, I'm sorry, scratch that. If you succeeded or taking half, you're taking 11. And then if you su- uh, did not succeed and are taking the full brunt of it, you're taking 22. I am back on the ground. So what happens with the absorb elements, John? You take How half. 
okay. then on your next attack, you can add plus 1d6 lightning damage to your attack. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's his initiative. Uh, the zombies that are in the line of fire are both going to take the full brunt of it. That'll kill this zombie here. Um, Nayland, please stop. All right, and it'll win this one for 22. Okay, and this one for 22 as well. Yeah, he hit all three of his zombies with that because they're so big. No! All right. Um, right. No, disengage. Okay. You heading back downstairs? Yep. All right. Should be on the other map. I'll draw a bow and shoot the zombie standing up outside. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, let's see. Okay. And um, it's adjacent to an ally if you want to throw a sneak. And it wouldn't have really known you were there, so we're going to take oh, the, no. the advantage on that as well. So go ahead and, go ahead and throw the sneak attack a second time. That is enough to kill it outright. Okay. All right. Um, any other movement from you or bonus actions? Nope, that's it. Okay. And then the ravens um, will all mass um, in that position where you ran up the stairs before. Um, and the two raven swarms that you had been fighting look like they consolidate into one swarm after having been damaged. Both about half. All right, and they will start an upwards ascent. Looks like they're heading to the top of the building. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the greater zombies. They can't move to anything besides Bellerin and the Elk, and even still only really just Bellerin. So they're both going to attack him with two attacks each. I think the first attack is actually going to knock him out. Uh, it's a crit. It's going to be a total of 34 points of damage. Yeah, he's down. The second attack will deal with his first death saving throw. The third attack will deal with his second death saving throw, and the third attack will deal with his last. Bellerin is dead. Ugh. Oh my god. You suck. It looks like these seem to be the larger threat. Bellerin. I forgot about those guys, to be perfectly honest with you. It's fair. I'm sure oh, you were dead, so. Gondar. I got back up and then I tried again. Um, same question. I think they act on my initiative, so can I let them go for my compatriots go first? No, because your initiative is higher than theirs. Okay, and that's fair. They're not a mount. <laughs> Unless okay, you want to um, have rode one of them in here, then that's different. No, no, no don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I only hit this guy once, so he's still pretty fresh chipper. Yeah. Yeah. He's got at least a 17 AC. Just can I just? <laughs> I declare now that I'm not going for lethal strikes. Sure. Like, if I get him to a point, I'm, so essentially I'm avoiding his arteries, mm -hmm. internal, and his big bad organ. Yeah, perfectly acceptable. Essentially just bleeding him to a point where he's down. Got it. That'll hit. Um, so, so in, it's a 9 plus, that's 18 more. Yep, on the 18, he's going to throw his reaction, actually, and block it with uh, shield. So it'll be... Sounds good. One plus 
it'll be it'll, or nine damage, just nine damage from the first attack. Yes. All right. He is not bloodied. Kane and Namwalk. I believe Great. Namwalk can get through and try and get into Mage yes. Town if he wants to not mess with the ogres. He's not. He's going to um, avoid them with a dash, and then he'll be able to Goring Rush because he's. So he'll come in with a Goring Rush. Okay. My AC is currently really high. Yeah, this probably won't work, but no, no it will not. He bounces off of a red shield that's still kind of in place between him and you two. And then Kane shoots arrows in, I'm assuming? Or is yeah. he shooting at the greater zombies now? He doesn't... I don't have line of sight on the mage yet, because there's still... This guy's still in the way, right? Right. Just try to get him down. The uh, greater zombies are the ones that are kind of in the courtyard on the left side, so he's moving closer to really bad stuff, is what I'm trying to insinuate here. Oh, yeah. Um... If you want some more dead NPCs, I'm more than happy to make it be the case, but, uh... You no, no. Um... Yeah, so... I don't have line of sight on that big one unless I move. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so what we'll do... You know what, yeah, I'll just try to... I'll take some shots at this greater zombie. Which one greater zombie was the bear swiping at? Was it this one, or...? The wounded one is that one you pinged, yeah. The middle one? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll take shots at him. Two. An 18 and a 9. 18 hits. Nine seems to be blocked by a strange black wind that whips it aside. Alright, so it's just three damage. Okay. Alright, Grok. Uh, you watch as Bellerin gets torn apart by necrotic energy, his body thrown no! to the ground. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try. I've never done this before. I wanna cast Moonbeam. Is okay. I could do that right Yeah, where are you targeting it? So give me some assistance, not knowing how to do it. Yeah, just where you want to target. It's, it's going to be a 10-foot cube, effectively, a 10-foot wide circle, and you can center it wherever you'd like. On the ground, okay. So, um, is it, will, would it affect Leon if I put it around Leon as well? Yeah, anything that's in it will get hit by it, yeah. Okay, so we just want to do the squares to the left of the greater. You know what I'm talking about. You want to put it in them. It's 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 a ten foot wide circle, so yeah, it's gonna be like this. Right, essentially that. So all three of them are in it. Okay. Good spell. So moonbeam. Um, also, it only Beam triggers fire. at the start of their turn, so each one of them will take the damage at the beginning of their turn. So um, okay. when it comes to that, I'll get to their con saving throws. That'll be back up on 15. Super. The elk is um, still fresh, uh, but is adjacent to greater zombies if it wants to punch at them. Or uh, Question. If, because I'm mounted on the elk, if the elk disengages, <laughs> does fine. Leon, Leon's okay? Then the elk will disengage, and we're going to barrel in here. And from... Stag back. Leon's gonna pop off on this guy. Okay. Hold Shield's on. still active though, right? Hold on a second. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, shield, still shield, active? shield is still active until the start of his turn, yeah. Okay. Um, then yeah, we will just uh, pop regular shots and wait for a better time. No miss, miss. Mm -hmm. Ah, and the elk I can, is. Uh, I, me I messed that up, but I, I had a better. I could have done a better idea. Whatever. Elk is doing nothing. next. Well, it disengaged, right? All oh, right, all right, right. Shambles. Death saving throw. All right, here's that twenty. Real close. Um. All right, Benson. I will move back in, and we're gonna go ahead and have him do some more drip. I'm a thirsty guy. <laughs> Shoving all those potions you got. Yep. Right down, right down the old shambles hole. Finish the movement down to here. Okay. Um, it'll go to the mage. Uh, the mage will. Let me see what I got. I think I only have one third level spell left. 
Holy yeah. crap, he has another one? I, uh, three total. I've cast Lightning Bolt twice now. Yeah, and you cast uh, Wall twice, uh, those, those are you? fourth level spells. Yeah, I'm out of those. Oh, okay. Bummer. Yeah, Teleportation Circle was a fifth level spell, and I had one of those, but it's gone. Jesus. So, my high level stuff is done. My highest level is currently third. I am going to... Um, up into the right, uh, over here, uh, is a broken set of staircase. Um, it kind of looks like it connects with uh, this staircase as well. Um, and kind of moves up into the broken ceiling above you. Uh, looking at the ceiling now, and feeling the rain coming down on you, you're kind of confused as to how he came down steps and looked through windows in the first place. Um, but that confusion is very quickly um, no longer a matter, as he takes to the uh, air and flies up onto the steps above you. Uh, the two of you can make opportunity attacks, if you wish, by Nam Walking Gondar. These attacks are made at disadvantage. Rude. Fair enough. <laughs> Miss. Oh, no, that was a goof anyway. Namwa. He might end it. No. No. It's a big whipper. All right. So he uh, lands, uh, again, he's about 30 feet up on these broken stairs. Um, and he will cast, since you're the one who's in the impotent little bastard who came for me, I'm going to go ahead and cast Magic Missile into your face, gun. Ah, there's no way, he, unless you roll absolutely horrible. 2, 5, 2, 5, so a total of 14 damage. Oh, you, you home, mm, you're going to regret that, chat. <laughs> oh, shit. You're never gonna regret it. <laughs> all right. Um, well, fair enough. Um, all right. So that's it for the mage. On initiative one, the two zombies. Um, one of them will step backwards and in towards the elk to intercede between uh, the archer and the other. And shambles, you are currently prone, um, yep. but you can, if you want, make an opportunity attack with disadvantage as Hell the other yes. ogre moves in towards. Um, I'm punching at his ankle. 12. Uh, that'll hit. Eight budget. Do you want to? Do you want a stunning strike? Ooh. It's a con save. They're probably gonna get it, but. No, I don't. All right. They're so constitutional. They are very, very heavy boys. So they are going to make their attacks. One against the elk hits for 17 damage. And Ow. One against Gondar hits for 11 damage. Oh no. And I said you chatted me. And I am done with zombies, I think. Yeah, I've got greater zombies and two ogre zombies remaining. Um, greater right. zombies take their moon stuff? Uh, they, they, they go on initiative 15. Of oh, the I'm ravens. sorry. I thought they were all in one. Yeah, the, the zombies are, the greater zombies are with the ravens. Yeah. Raya. It's looking pretty bleak. Bonus action hide. Okay. The action to shoot the zombie closest to me. Okay, there's one of the greater zombies that's actually more wounded than the others if you want to focus fire that one. If I can see it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, 11 to hit. That'll work. And it doesn't see you, so sneak attack. That one is bloody. Alright. Uh, go ahead and roll me 2d10, and I'll roll constitution saving throws for these zombies. You know, they have a plus three, and I can't roll for shit. All right. And... That one's actually dead now. Looks like they take radiant damage a bit differently than they take uh, regular damage. Like, they take it a lot. Uh, the two that are still alive are going to kind of flee out of it uh, and move in behind Grok. Um, using my own rules, actually, no, they're not going to do that. They're only going to be able to make it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, they're only going to make it there because it's difficult terrain for the zombies. There's too many bodies in the way. All right. The swarm of ravens descends down into the uh, tower and starts moving around the mage. 
Um, again, uh, for purposes, I'm just going to change it now into an aura for um, the one you've named Calarez. And uh, Bellerin's dead. It'll go to Gondar, who is dying. I'll make a save. success okay um on nailwalk's action he's going to force um a healing potion down my all right 2d4 plus two it was the what the one up healing potion i can't 4D4 remember 4d4 plus four greater where do we get those he traded the brewmaster guy yeah okay um kane will Take shots at the uh, greater zombies coming towards G Grok. Yeah, the one that he's the one that was. That one's dead Fogel. now. Yeah, that one's dead oh, now. Oh yeah, then the just trying two. to keep the other one off him. Yeah, there's the other two. They're still the same amount of health. Go ahead and give me two attacks. Fourteen, nine, and a fourteen. Neither hit. Darn. And then Nam walked the potion thing. Grok, you're up. It looks like your uh, venue for escape is narrowing. If you're. We want to put the. Um... The moonbeam. Okay. And is it a bonus action to move it? It is an action to move it. Okay. And then we're going to come through the door and um, I guess I can't really ha help Shamble. No, Shambles, is, is he? Yeah, I heal him. I'm, I'm prone. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Um, all right, Croc. Um, you got any potions? I'll take a potion. The giant elk uh, has a death. zombie in front of it. Uh, well, he needs to make a death save because I got smacked by a zombie. That's right, that's right. Uh, so it fails one. Mm -hmm. um, on these stairs, how high up is Leon because he's on these stairs? Um, those would probably only be about 10 feet high at its top. Okay, and the zombies are 20 feet tall, right? Uh, about 15 or so feet. 15 to 18 feet tall. How much cover does um, fake Calarath have? If you move up to the tippy top of the steps that way, and you're not on a, a mount, I would say he would have no cover from them, plus two cover from the, uh, the birds. Alright, so he's going to try to end it all right here. Sees the situation's dire. We're going to use the power of the wind to grant this attack advantage. Zephyr Strike? Yep. Bone because he was holding, uh, put the Slayer's Mark on, called the shit. Well, everything's lining up. Zephyr Strike. <laughs> Zephyr Strike. Yeah, it has been active. Sorry, yeah. Go ahead. 27. Hits. So, 5 from Slayer's, 19 from calling the shot, and Zephyr Strike, I think, is an extra D6. 27 minus 10, because you, or minus 5. Or minus 5, sorry. 22. So, 20, 22. Okay, and I am currently at 17 plus 2, 19, in it, or 19, if I, let me see, I cast Magic Missile last turn, that was my last first level slot. Uh, let me see if I've got anything to shenanigans you. I know you have a second attack, but yeah, I'm going to have to spend my last second level slot. No, I don't have another second level slot. I have one third level slot. I have to use it to spend it for shield. I block it. I cast shield as with a third level spell slot. That's depressing. You know, that, that's de very depressing. Especially... Second shot. My AC... He would have been the hero and he wouldn't even been here. My AC is currently 24. Alright, well... You do not have to take the penalty or... or, or no, not. I'm not going to. As soon as Leon sees that blue shield come back up, he's not... He's just going for the best Regular. he can do. Regular. Okay. 25. Hits. So that's 12 plus 3, so that's 15. Okay. So you watch as the ravens kind of uh, try to move to hit the arrow and block it. The blue shield kind of moves. You watch as the arrow finally moves through all of these things, and you hear a sickening kind of pop. Um, the birds all drop and just become puffs of feathers. The zombies all fall to the ground suddenly. The necrotic energy inside of the greater zombies pops and bursts as the moonbeams evaporate their bodies. Um, 
and uh, the only thing left in this place is the Chimera's body laying in the center of the courtyard. As... So they were illusions. <laughs> I knew it. As everything dissipates Fuck and magic. kind of moves away, you can see that the mage is stuck against the wall with an arrow in his eye, his horns kind of like dangling down a bit, um, his head pinioned to the wall. Damn, he's dead. I hope this wasn't Calareth. All right. Um, wow. I'll go ahead and deal with uh, experience and such off uh, camera, and we'll go ahead and uh, set up um, stuff, side conversation for next time. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.